Well, sports, summer camps, sleepovers, and family vacations make a summer kind of a perfect time for head lice to thrive. But as kids gather together, don't scratch your head over the insects. News 6 anchor Crystal Moyer has tips from consumer experts on how to beat lice. If you discover you or your child has lice, don't freak out. Lice do not transmit any diseases, but it can spread easily from person to person. Consumer Reports offers tips that will help you beat lice and avoid an itchy summer. Lice, just the word can make anyone's head feel itchy. Every year, according to an estimate from the CDC, between 6 and 12 million children get head lice. But as annoying as they are, they are not dangerous. Lice don't transmit any disease, but they can spread easily from person to person, and their bites can make the scalp itchy and irritated, and sometimes the scratching can lead to an infection. If a friend, relative, or your child's summer school or camp reports a head lice infestation, inspect your child right away. Look for tiny yellow or white colored eggs or nits. Over-the-counter products like permethrin are unlikely to offer much relief because many to most lice are actually now resistant to those chemicals. And certain other prescription pesticide products like malthion and lindane can have concerning side effects. Some studies show that a non-pesticide ingredient dimethicone found in products such as NYX Ultra and Lice MD can kill lice by suffocating them. One of the best methods for many kids is combing out lice from wet hair as long as your child's hair can tolerate that. If not, all also likely effective are prescription topical spinosad or natroba and over-the-counter topical ivermectin. For combing, you'll need to shampoo, then use a lubricant like a conditioner or olive oil to make the hair easy to comb. Separate the hair into small sections, then comb the hair with a thin toothed metal comb, concentrating on the area close to the scalp. The space in the metal comb has to be small enough for a single hair to go through, but not an egg. As you work, wipe the comb on a paper towel and inspect for lice. Keep combing until you no longer find any lice, then rinse the hair with water. You'll want to repeat the same process every three to four days for several weeks, and that's because the eggs may still hatch for up to a week. A good rule of thumb, continue combing for two weeks after the last adult louse is found. And if your child has head lice, all household members should be checked and treated. I posted more information on clickorlando.com insider. How many times did you scratch your head? Just oh, thinking about it.